Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to my channel. From time to time, I put out a bunch of videos on whatever. Uh, my channel doesn't really cover anything in specific. It could be pets, it could be plants, it could be DIY projects, it could be anything. So you never know what I'm going to come out with next. Hey, that subscribe button's down there in the corner. Click that. It's going to be running throughout the video. That'll subscribe you to my channel. Hit that bell on the, on the YouTube page and, and that'll give you anything new that I just put out. So let's get to it. Hey, it's Rick, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, from time to time, I come up with some um, tricks, uh, you know, for different things that I may showcase or I do. Um, this is for my aquarium hobby. In the past, I've showed you, um, you know, how to quarantine your fish if they need to be um, quarantined, you know, for uh, treating them from various diseases and you're using chemicals. Um, I have a 55-gallon tank, and my cichlid fish um, got hexameter really bad. And rather than treat a full 55-gallon tank, which would cost you a lot of money, I'll show you the meds that I'm using. It's like $15 for a pack of them. And for every one, uh, it would take, uh, I think, 10 gallons per tablet. So about uh, five of them, maybe six for a 55-gallon tank. Instead, you put it in a 10-gallon tank. Then you're only paying basically for one tablet. And then you can extend the life of those uh, meds for a while in case you have problems. So this is the idea I've come up with. I've done that. But it does get uh, tedious, you know, and the fish is only in a 10-gallon tank, and which is fine. I have both my sponge filters down there they're still keeping the bacteria cycle going but i realized what if i just drain this down to like um, 20 gallons and you can go online and look for a calculator where you can do the volume of your tank inches uh, for height and that'll give you your volume of water and i'm going to take this up to about 20 gallons and i'm going to put him back in there now he'll have the, at least eight inches of water all the way across the tank he'll be accustomed to being in his surrounding he's not locked up in a little cabinet down here where you can't really see him and uh you know and we're going to save some money on meds we'll just be treating 20 gallons Basically, this is what I use, General Cure. General Cure really works on a lot of various different uh, parasitic uh, fish diseases. Um, it does work on Hexameda also. I've used Prazi Pro in the past, but it actually has Prazi in this. I can't really see the ingredients in there. But this stuff's not cheap. A pack of this stuff, you know, for 10 of them, little powder packets, like I said, it'll run you about 15 bucks. And uh, that can get really expensive. So by quarantining them in a smaller tank or just draining the water out of your larger tank and just figuring out the volume, uh, that's going to save you some money. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple tablets of these. That's 20 gallons. I've already calculated it. When I put about eight inches of water in there, that's going to be two tablets of this. You can go a little bit more if you want to go 30 instead of the 55. At least you're not using the whole pack up. Because like I said, at 10 powder packs at 10 gallons, this would actually just treat 100 gallons. So maybe you get two cycles if you use that 55 gallon tank to treat with. Okay, so we've moved all this stuff in and we've got the fish. This is actually a uh, red dragon flower horn. And I think he's going to be fine for a while. We're going to see if he's eating. Sponge filters are in place. Looks like he's actually pooping and it's dark poop. I think we're okay. If not, I only have to treat about 20 gallons of water in a 55 gallon tank. And then once he's back eating and then once I feel like he's completely healthy, I'll go ahead and I'll fill the tank back up. Hey, once again, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom of the corner. You never know what video I'm going to come up with next. Hit that bell and you'll be notified of other videos. And Good luck with your fish tank aquarium hobby. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you make out with this little tip. I hope it saves you some money on some medicines and your fish get healthier. Take care. Hey, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, click that button down there at the bottom, that subscribe button. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next. Please share with your family and your friends. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you make out with your project or how you like this video. Take care.